Hi everyone. Welcome to the next day of my Do Math at Home series and for today I'm going to teach you a game. So you need very few materials. All you need is a deck of cards. Regular deck or if you're super cool like me you can use your Harry Potter deck of cards. So either one you pick. Okay. So you need a deck of cards and you need three people. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your deck of cards. Okay. You want to remove all the jokers and all of the face cards. You can keep the aces, they count as one, okay? But you wanna remove your jacks, your kings, and your queens, okay? So once that's all done, you have a pile of cards, or you can separate the pile of cards between two people if you want, and two people are going to put a card on their head. And you know what? Instead of explaining it all, why don't I just show you? All right, so first we're gonna show you the adding version. So me and my assistant each have a stack of cards. We're gonna hold one up to our head. So I have no idea what my number is, but I can see my assistant's number. And she can see my number. Okay, now assistant number two is gonna um, add them together and say the sum, and then we're gonna try to figure out what our card is by figuring out the missing add end. All right, assistant number two, what's the sum? The sum is 12. Um, nine. Great. You're right. And so since we both got it right, we both win. We each get a point. It's not a contest see who it's the fastest see who can get it correct. So that's how you play the adding version of this game. Thank you to my two lovely assistants for um, participating in my video with me. Shout out to them. Um, so you can play that adding version with friends. Um, it can be for any ages as long as you know how to add. And the third person, okay, that's the person that needs to be able to add the two cards so that the other two people can figure out what their add end is. So if you want to check that adding with a calculator, you can. And if you want to keep switching the position so everyone gets a chance to do each job, that works too. Now there's also a multiplication version. So that's what I'm going to show you next. All right, so now we're going to play the multiplication version. So same rules. You put a card on your head and you can't see it, but the other person can. So let's both put up our cards. Okay, look at mine. Okay. And now my assistant number two, so the third person in the game, she's going to say the product. She's going to multiply them together, and then we have to use division to figure out what our factor is. The product is 20. Five, two, four. Did we get it right? Oh, we both got it right. We both get a point again. And if you didn't know what it was, I see a five, and I'm thinking five times what number equals 20, I can count. Five, 10, 15, 20. My number must be four. And that's the multiplying version. So if you know all of the operations, you can play either version, whatever you prefer. And you just have to make sure that basically whoever is saying the, the multiplication product is saying it correctly, okay? Because that's going to change the answers if the multiplication product is incorrect. So feel free to get a calculator or a multiplication chart to check that. Again, it's a super fun game. You can't really play it like digitally with someone else because then you'll be able to see your card like in a webcam. But with three people in the same room, it'll work perfectly. Um, you don't have to keep score at all, but you can if you want to. And it's just a fun game. I think it's technically called Salute. Um, I call it card on head because I'm fancy. So either one. All right, I hope you guys get a chance to play. It's a super fun game. You can play it anytime. I even have some students sometimes play with me in the cafeteria. That's all for today. I miss you. I can't wait to see you soon. I wish you well.